Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Disney Diva. So, I just came back from seeing The Lion King. And I got my little friend here from the stage play, the Broadway play of The Lion King. I never forget when I saw that play. That was just phenomenal. So, I got this for a little celebration of the movie today. And then I'm rocking, as you know, I'm rocking my Lion King shirt. And I got some treat planning playing in the background. It's called Spread My Wings. You guys know me. I love me some old school stuff. Anything 70s, 80s, 90s, early 2000s. I'm all over that. I'm, I have a very old soul. So anyways, let's talk about this movie. So I'm going to be honest. 1 out of 10, I give the movie a 9, which is still pretty high for me. Um, when I saw the movie, my whole thing, I just kept thinking on how it was related to the cartoon. So like... Parts of me saw like the actual live action part in my mind, and then I was looking at, then I was comparing it to the actual animation. Um, my honest feelings is that I like the animation. I always like the animation. I'm not too crazy for all the Disney live action movies. Like, I mean, um, not the Lion King, the Latin movie that was cool. I know with the Jungle Book, and I know they have some other live action movies. I've never really been a big fan of it. Like that first Maleficent movie. That one was okay, but the one that's coming out now, Melissa 2, it looks like that might be, that looks like that might actually be pretty good. But anyways, going back to the live action Lion King, like I said, I gave it, like I said, I gave it, um, a nine, you know, it was, it was good. You know, I, I enjoyed the movie. Um, it was a lot of suspense and it was so funny because like, if you've seen the cartoon already, it's kind of like, you know, all like the parts already. I mean, and I honestly thought that they were gonna have like a different spin on it, and some some parts of the movie was different. Like some like the um, lines were changed from versus the cartoon. But overall, I mean, I thought it was a decent movie. I I, I prefer the cartoon better than the live action movie. I mean, don't get me wrong, it was funny. You know, um, it was beautiful hearing um, James Earl Jones, his most iconic, beautiful voice. I mean, I I, I almost had tears in my eyes just hearing his voice. Just a beautiful, just a beautiful voice, you know. Um, something else I wanted to say, and I can't think of. You guys have to excuse me. If you've been following me on Saturday, you know, I've been at Disneyland all day. So, I was at Disneyland all Saturday. Um, my friend, he kept me out late. You know, I didn't get home till like midnight. And, you know, and I'm just, I'm just tired. So, you have to excuse me if this review is not the best. But, um, you guys still don't like it anyway. But I enjoyed the movie, you know. I... I feel like certain parts were, I, I feel like something was missing, like something was missing for me, but like I said, 1 out of 10, the movie definitely gets a 9. The part that I don't like was that prepare song, and I love that prepare song from the, the animation. I, I just, it was just something about the prepare song, that scar song, it did not have the same vibe from the cartoon. Yes, I know, it's not the cartoon, it's a live action version, you know, it has, a, it sort of have a different spin to it, but to me, I feel like said of the guy, the actor who, um, voiced Scar's character, I feel like when he was singing the Be Prepared song, I felt like it was more, um, it was more like a spoken word, it wasn't like a song, you know, and in the live action, I mean, not the live action, in the animation one, it was more like that melody in the sun, and then on top of that, I guess I was looking for, like, the comedy aspect of it, like, when Pomo and Puma, when they were trying to, um, hold the little the distraction thing to distract the hyenas, you know, when Timon and Puma put on those grass skirts, I mean, I thought they were going to be something like that, but the funny thing that they did, they actually somewhat started to sing part of the BR guest song, so I was like, oh my lord, because I thought they're gonna go into that song but i mean that was that was kind of funny Timon and puna they're, they're probably my favorite characters um throughout the whole movie the Sim simba and nala as cubs i just love them i kept thinking like how cute they were throughout the whole movie i mean like i said one out of ten the movie is definitely a nine um so you guys should check it out you know uh take all your little young cubs and go out there and see the movie i mean it's a good movie and um i'm really praying and hoping that disney will give tiana a live action movie because she deserves a live action movie and don't get me wrong the young lady um is her name a uh, Haley bailey i believe um, I think she'll be great as Ariel, and I'm all pro, I'm all for anything pro-black with Disneyland, you know, like, you know, it, it's nice to see 
black culture um, involving in Disney things, but why not give that young lady um, to play Tiana? I'm still praying they might give her a Tiana. Um, I mean, my bad. I'm sorry. Like I said, I'm a little bit sleepy, you guys, so please excuse me. But I'm still praying that Disney would give Tiana a live action movie. I mean, I know they got Milan coming out, and like I said, um, my favorite, my main princess I love is definitely, you know, my girl Tiana. I love me some Tiana. That's my girl. And um, I love Milan, and I love Pocahontas, and I'm so psyched to see this Milan movie, you know, that's going to be coming out. So, um, I can't wait to see that. But, um, going back to The Lion King, like I said, it was good. One out of ten, they got a nine from me. Um, I was thinking it was going to be a ten. It probably would have been a ten if they would have did that prepare song better. I mean, because I, I love that song, Be Prepared. Um, they did Akuma, they did Akuna Matano very well. They did, um... Can You Feel the Love Tonight very well. And there's another song that they did. I can't think of the other song that they did. Oh, my God. The opening of The Lion King just breathtaking. It was just almost like the cartoon version. You know, the opening. And you know what, you guys? I wanted to do Na Tiana something, something. Okay, but anyways, 86 that part. You guys didn't see me do that. It would have been cool I could open it. <laughs> I wanted to open it up with that part, but I did a little bit in this video. And I knew I was going to butcher it, but that's okay. You know, that would have been cool, but I didn't do that. But anyways, uh, I thank you for uh, taking the time out to watch this video. Please watch all my other videos. I have 151 followers. That's like so freaking cool, and I thank you guys. I know I like to say I'm new. I'm trying to start off. Half the time, I don't even know what I'd be saying. But, you know, I just be rambling. You know, you know what? Just like Mary J. Blige said, take me as I am. And you know what? I, I can only be me. I'm I'm trying to get out there, you know. So, um, I thank you guys for liking and supporting my channel. I mean, just thank you for that. I have 151 um, people following me. So, please, I would love to have 200 people by the end of this year. If I get more, that's beautiful. I just posted some new videos. I think there are about five videos um, from Disneyland. You have to excuse me. Like I said, if I don't know what I'm saying, <laughs> if I'm just repeating the same things, if it doesn't make any sense, or if you can't hear me, if you can't understand what I'm saying now in this video, my bad. You know, I talk fast. And, you know, I talk kind of country, too. But anyways, thank you guys for the support, truly. And like I said, the movie was good. I know I said this already about four times. Like I said, I gave it a nine. Certain things could have been better. Certain things were excellent. The opening was beautiful. I mean, and I can't get over how real the animals look. I actually kept thinking that these are like real life animals that they train, you know? But I knew it was, um, what do you call it? Is it CG or HD? My bad. I, I might be saying it wrong. But the whole point was that it was just, it was phenomenal. It was a good movie. But, um, I'm waiting for them, like I said, to come out with that Tiana live action movie. So, Disney, if you're watching this, give my girl Tiana a live action movie. And like I said, going back to Miss um, Bailey, I think she's gonna be—I think she's gonna do a good job as Ariel. I really do think she's gonna do a good job as Ariel. But she could be uh, Tiana, you know, and Tiana's like actually. But I will be supporting the movie because anything pro black with Disneyland, anything that represents black people, I want to support it. And then um, I don't know what I'm about to say, you guys. So you have to keep because I'm really tired. So I'm gonna cut this video short. I want to say thank you for following me again. Um, like I said, go see the Lion King movie. It was good. You you won't hate the fact that you would go see it. I, I think it's well worth, um, I don't know how much it costs to get into the movies now. What, what is it, like 30 bucks? I don't know. The, uh, everything is ridiculously expensive. And like I said, I just had a Disneyland day on Saturday, so believe me, I know what I'm talking about. And that's one of the most expensive places on earth. But anyways, you guys, thank you again. And Akuna Matana. And God bless. Keep Jesus first, and thank you guys again. Please continue to follow me. Deuces.